So there's Tom. Yeah, he's he's resting. He's really not well. So we're gonna go inside, and I'm gonna ask the vet so that you know we can videotape the exam here. So we'll be right back. Sorry. Okay, so we're in the vet now, and we're just gonna open up the box this way, so that you know because he's quite injured, right? And uh, we'll see what the vet has to say, right? Tom has had a really rough life. I think Tom maybe was an abandoned cat when I left that house because he's been around ever since we've been in that house. But over the years, you know, he's just really gotten beaten up. This last year has been really rough on him. And then I've got, we got boots too, right? We got our boots and then we've got another black cat that comes around and chases Elsie, who's what, nine years old? <laughs> it reminds me of the, uh, the old woman with the young man, right? It's really quite funny actually because he's just got this infatuation on Elsie. But uh, Tom, I think... El uh, Tom he does? No, no, boots too. There's a different, do there's a different, there's a black cat that keeps coming around. I thought boots is our cat. I know, but there's a second black cat that, that can't you tell the difference? That between? loves Elsie? That loves Elsie. He just loves Elsie. He comes right into the house and follows her around. That's nice. Well, this has been out in the garage for a while. Millions of cats have sprayed on it. The white cat came in the house today. Hey, Mom's friends. Oh, come and look at him here. He's so just beat up. This poor cat. Watch if I turn him and jump out. <laughs> yeah. He's probably really hungry too. I. He smells. The cat box smells too. Cat spray. Yeah, he smells pretty bad. Hey, Tom. Mm, we finally got you here. Yeah. After all this time, and even then, I had to force you into the cage, and you were growling and trying to get away. When you were trying to get him in here. Yeah. Well, he's injured though. Something's he's. I think he's maybe been hit by a car, or he got into a really severe fight. Can he move his legs? No, because it hurts. He's in a lot of pain. So. He's actually been in pain for a very long time, but he's a tough, tough cat though. Because even when he's in pain, you try and catch him, you can't catch him. But now I think his days are numbered. Right. So. <coughs> Here comes the doctor. Here comes the doctor. Huh? He's gonna let us know. He's got bad ear mites. Oh, he's had them for a long time. Oh, ear mites right there. Yeah. Where? Right there. Right here. The oh, those are fleas. On the nose right there. Like ear mites. Oh, ear mites. Yeah. Yeah, he's got ear mites. What do they do to you? Make well, their ears itchy. it makes their ears itchy and stuff, and you know sometimes they can clear it up, sometimes they can't. Mm. You know, watch, don't, because he'll try and jump out, right? So maybe He's turn so it off dirty. and we'll wait for the doctor. Well, yeah, because he can't clean himself. Right. This is new. Right. Is that still on? He's <laughs> like, mm. he's a stray. You just take out this cat first. In the dog, yeah. You want the cat out of this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, the cat is a stray. Okay. And He's a real Brutus, like he's a, been a real cap uh, fighter. You're okay, gonna take okay. it okay. Yeah, just, just don't make the video then, best. Well, no, mm. this I'm going. I would need to start my collection boxes. People <laughs> don't understand how serious that we need to make money from donations coming in to help these animals that don't have homes. This mm -hmm. one's been mm -hmm. around my home for two and a half years, mm -hmm. and he never comes in. Okay, good. Okay. But he's in a lot of pain, okay. and it was very hard to catch. Okay, okay. And he, 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 we need help for these cats. No, so this is good. Limp notes are there. Yeah, he's been sick for a while. Yeah. But he keeps coming to my yard all the time asking for help. So now we got him here. Okay. Because I couldn't catch him before, eh? Okay. But he's not even fussing with you. He's being yeah. good for you. Look at that, eh? Not, not, yes. He knows you want to help him. Like ear mites are there. Yeah, big bad bad set there. Yeah, he's injured. There's an injury in here. He can't walk. Mm -hmm. He's dirty. The cat is box dog dirty. See, okay. he's in he's in pain. Okay, okay. He's in pain there. And this color just started. 
He used to be black in here, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. And when he gets into cat's fights, he gets all scratched up really bad. But it was too hard to catch him. <coughs> I don't know. Something's painful for him. He can't walk. He's late. Okay. He's not neutered even. No. And that's why he just keeps fighting all the time, wanting to fight. He's sick. Oh, what is We don't know. Okay. I don't know. But he's been around ever since I moved into my house, and it's been three and a half years. Mm -hmm. Look, he's got, you know, he's always fighting. But I could never catch him. But he, he comes, he's asking for help now. He's being quiet. So, <clears throat> he's in serious condition. He has just 97 body temperature. What does that mean? It should be 103, 102 at least. Okay. He's very sick. Yeah, he's very sick, so only just 97.6 degree Fahrenheit, okay. His uh, uh, mucous membrane is uh, light pink, that is also uh, uh, lymph nodes swollen, okay, this, uh, this, these lymph nodes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he has an infection. He's tachycardia. And it's, this is all turned brown. Yeah, respiration also difficult. This is there. So he needs x-ray, blood work, without uh, that, uh, just we cannot see anything, what is uh, the underlying problem. Okay. Okay, well, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, yeah. That's the, thing, yeah. the last time I came in with that other dog, remember? Yeah, I yeah. had to put that dog to sleep. Yeah, yeah, you put that dog to sleep. And that dog yeah. wasn't even my dog. Okay. Right, that was that was non-profit, but I paid. Oh yeah. So so this is why we need to get a collection box here to help pay for these things. Okay, okay. I just haven't made the collection box. Doctor Bath was going to help me with that. Okay, okay. Right. So so this is we have to do it, okay. and this is what this video is. People, we need help. We have to start helping the animals more. Yeah. Okay, because I need help with the, these collection boxes. So I don't know how I'm going to get the help, but this is why we got to do it. Yeah. Um, what about putting the cat to sleep? Because I can't yeah, take him home. That's the only thing they putting to sleep here. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, uh, first of all, uh, he needs the blood work yeah. and X-ray. And basic. how much is that? Putting on uh, IV fluid. Oh my God! Okay, thousand dollars. So, not you can say it's a thousand dollar. If somebody else, maybe at least for you, it's four five hundred. Okay. Yeah. I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want payments. Okay, mom. Well, no. Just put the cat to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, that's eh? the only way, yeah. I think so right now. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. He yeah. is. He yeah. is in a lot of pain. It's pain probably pain, just yeah. simpler for him at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he is he's old. Suffering. And he is. That's too sad. I, he did come to the house and say, you know, don't let me just die by myself. Okay. Right? <laughs> so, you know, at least he'll die with some dignity. Okay. This is dignity to die here, right? Yeah. And you know, because he's dying now. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay. So, okay. So that's so, what we'll do. Uh, Only because we don't have the funds, people. We so, don't have so, the funds so for this. Just uh, uh, if you can pay some for the putting it down. I will. Yeah. Okay. I will. Okay. And we're going to start that collection box okay. two weeks from now, right? Okay. Okay. For other animals that we can. Rescue. Tom, it's maybe too late for Tom. Okay. But Tom has lived a full life. So. Okay, so just I'll bring the paper to sign okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so for the simple fact that I don't have $500 disposable income right now, 
Um, when I brought in the dog, of course I did no video for that, but um, I uh, also put down a dog after I did x-rays and whatnot that was injured and it, uh, the decision was to put the dog to sleep because it was you know, cancer through the body and whatnot. Um, Tom has uh, lived a full life as a Tom and um, you know he's part of the family because I have videos of him you know so we'll do a I'll clip I'll try and clip in a couple of the videos over the next couple of videos and build up a, a situation here so that we can work on this pet program mm -hmm. the doctor here is, said yes bring the collection box in two weeks from now so I cleared off my sewing table so I'm gonna paint the box and put the stickers on and make a couple flyers and we're gonna start doing some fundraising in the community yeah. and uh, there's another doctor a vet that also his wife wants to help with this as well mm -hmm. so but I need help with the accounting I need someone to take on the books and keep the money, put it in the bank, and do all those things. So, because uh, you know, mm -hmm. I'm kind of busy with other things. Okay, you don't have to videotape. Yeah. Them, yeah. yeah. Should I actually videotape? Yeah. Can you please hold it from there? Yeah, that's fine. This is fine. This is fact of life. Oh my God. Oh. No, no, we can do the sedation. What's that? We can do the sedation first. Okay, we're going to sedate first. Yeah, sedate first. How long does it take for them to die on that? Just two seconds. Mm -hmm. And he's very sick right now, so. He's so. going to die like, right here in front of us. Like, yeah. Oh, see? This is why I don't have animals. Well, you know, it's better, than, it's better being here like this than on rocks in my front yard or on my porch. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he obviously came to the house. His face is so cute. Yeah, he came to the house because he has nowhere to go. And he's not the only other there's that black boots too that comes to the house. So we go, and you can't catch him because yeah. he really really skittish that one. Yeah, know. You know? So we need professional people that can catch these cats, bring them to the vet, you know, get them fixed up, neuter them, give them their shots, rabies shots, whatever it is that they need, and then you know, release them or adopt them out, right? Yeah, King's older than his teacher. Uh -huh, but you need special kind of cages to catch animals. I have lots of raccoons too. See, he's something hurts him back there. Right? Something hurts him. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, Tom. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're, you're okay. Okay, so it will take five ten minutes to uh, okay. go to sleep. Okay, okay. Yes, and then you can then, then we will do that. Okay. okay, yeah, turn it off. So what's happened here is the doctor's given him a shot to have him fall asleep. Okay, because it's too hard to shave his fur to give him the uh, injection that will actually terminate his life. Right? Um, but after that, he won't be suffering anymore. And uh, Tom should have gotten help years ago, really. Mom, I can't fucking do this. Make it. Uh, see? Tom, you're part of the family, baby. We still love you. Okay? Are you going to make me cry? I don't like fucking saying things die, man. No, but, you know, it's better that he's here, dying this way, this me of Mel making Mel. an impact, you know, encouraging people to step up to the plate. You know, everybody says, oh, well, we love animals. Well, if you love animals, if you love animals, then help me. Like, how many times do I have to tell people, I need help with this nonprofit? I need help with the accounting part of it. I'm going blind. I can't see anymore. You know, I don't know how to network out into the community to find the people that can help me to manage these collection boxes and whatnot. So... You know, Tom is going to be the catalyst for this, okay, because he's a real cat, like a real person with a real story. So we're just going to let him fall asleep and then we're going to come back. So Tom is His starting to... His eyes really swollen. Yeah. Well, he's a scrapper. When he, yeah, he probably got he, a fight He cat. is a serious or scrapper. Or dog. No, lots of cats out in the yard. They're just oh. all over the place. And he's starting to feel the effects of the uh, sedation. 
Um, so he's, it's an unusual feeling for him. So he's been trying to get out, actually, of this, see? Out of this little cage. Yeah. But it looks like he might even be injured here because it's all wet. Yeah. You can see there. So. There. Is he falling asleep now? Yeah. Yeah. He tried to fight it, eh? He tried to jump out. He said, no, I'm not, I'm not putting up. He wanted to attack the doctor. Yeah. Was, I'm not taking none of that. Right. Okay, we'll come back. Hey? Oh, yeah, because he here. can't, he can't maybe, walk and maybe abscess, maybe there. Just to make this go here, this side. See, it took too long to get him here. He needed to come last year, but he couldn't. He really we couldn't catch him. Well, yeah, we couldn't catch him, right? He's a big cat. Hmm. But he had a full life. Oh yeah, no, he's having. You know, we need people to be able to catch these kind of cats and bring them to vets and just, uh, you know, either fix them up and find homes for them or release them back or put them to sleep depending on their state. You know, why does it have to come to this? Right, you need a special kind of cage to catch them. They're what feral the cats. Do? Hmm? What is the string? It blocks the circulation. Yeah, so the... And then when they put the needle, they take it off, and then it'll go. Come up on this side. I see it. Maybe here, Tisha. If you come here, you can see. see him breathing and then it will just stop. That didn't even take a minute. Yep. Gone. Yep. He's, he's, he's gone now. Yep. He's just double checking. Okay, people. Okay, That's it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. So uh, this 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 man has helped me two times. He's had to put two animals to sleep that needed to be put to sleep. So this is a cry out to the public to start stepping up to the plate and making a BC better place for the animals that live here. Okay. 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 So now the cat is covered, and um, we're not we're not you know <coughs> he's going to be cremated with the general cremation through the SPCA and uh, you know, we're not going to try and bury him or anything like that. We're just, you know, going to dispose of his body in a responsible way. So, I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Okay, so the doctor is doing a donation today. Thank you very much. And um, what, what, I'm just paying for the cremation of the animal, which is costing me $80. It was an emergency. I had actually three emergencies today, so I can't go to Victoria tomorrow for that seminar. Um, I'm going to upload this when I get home. And, um, you know, sometimes things run in threes and Tom, Tom just happened to be in one of those. So the doctor is making the donation with the initial examination and with the sedation and with the the one that, what, what, there's... That was all together. The euthanasia price was the... The actual procedure as well as the cremation, mm -hmm. it was all $80, so that's mm -hmm. what you're paying for. Uh -huh. um, we cover the exam and the sedation costs yeah. for you today. So the doctor is making a personal donation himself. And uh, this this clinic here, in two weeks, hopefully we'll have a collection box. And we're going to, you know, start working on a pet program because it's uh, there's definitely a need for it. Okay, so we thank the doctor, and what's his name? Dr. Dangel. Dr. Dangel. 
Dr. Danjo. Uh, and can I mention the clinic? Yes, I can, because we're going to be bringing in some uh, collection boxes from the Delta Animal Hospital in British Columbia, Canada. It, it's very much so helped this family and has helped Tom too. Thank you.